Subaru Lineatronic Continuously Variable Transmission. Sounds like a bunch of made up words slammed together that make no sense. What it means though is efficiency. Let's take a look. I have this camera set up aimed at the instruments on this Subaru XV Crosstrek with the Subaru Lineatronic CVT. And I'll show you exactly what it means for you and for your fuel efficiency. The heart of the Subaru CVT is a pair of hydraulically operated adjustable pulleys, which vary ratio automatically depending on the driver's throttle input, vehicle load, and road conditions like hills or ramps. Unlike a regular automatic transmission, which is limited to a set of predefined gear ratios, the Lineatronic CVT can adjust itself to any ratio in its range, for fast acceleration or for maximum efficiency. But perhaps the best way to understand the CVT is to see it in action. Here we're accelerating to 60 miles an hour from street speeds. Watch the tachometer on the left to see how much the engine accelerates, and the speed on the right, which you'll see gradually climb to 60 miles per hour. Once the desired speed is achieved, as in any car, the driver will ease off the accelerator. But here's where the CVT stands out. Watch the engine speed on the left. You'll see that the engine RPM drops down smoothly. This is because the car is no longer accelerating and now will only work the engine as hard as is necessary to maintain the driver's speed. The CVT is standard equipment on the XV Crosstrek Hybrid and is also available on Subaru's Forester, Impreza, Outback, 2014 Legacy 2.5 models, and will be standard on the all-new 2015 Legacy with both 2.5 and 3.6 litre boxer engines. The 2 litre turbocharged engine in Subaru's 2014 Forester XT was the first car to feature a performance-oriented version of Subaru's Lineatronic CVT, which will also be available in the all-new 2015 Subaru WRX for the first time. These performance models, as well as most other CVT-equipped Subarus, feature a manual mode, with 6 or 8 speeds selectable via steering wheel mounted paddles. Let's take a look at how it works. So I've just moved the shifter into the M position. I'll show you how it works. So I must now initiate gear shifts myself using the paddle shifters here. Left will go down, right will go up. So let's merge onto the freeway. While in manual mode, the CVT will allow you to hold on to higher revs in situations where it might not do so itself. For example, if you're anticipating a lengthy overtaking maneuver and you want to have the car in the power band before you change lanes. However, the CVT will not allow you to damage the engine or stall. For example, if you get into the engine's red line, the CVT will shift up a gear, or if you're in danger of stalling, the car will shift down a gear to prevent it. Now there are no cars nearby, so I'm just going to slow down. And if we imagine that there was an invisible car that I had to overtake, I can drop to third, go around the car, jump back in, and go back up to a higher gear for better efficiency. To learn more about Subaru's continuously variable transmission, why not experience it yourself at Schlossmann Subaru City of Milwaukee? We're at the corner of South 27th Street and Layton Avenue in Milwaukee, and you can call us anytime at 414-281-9100. That's 414-281-9100. Thank you.